Now, y'all know Bobby Lights and Kaya have been going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth for a minute because Bobby Lights is always attempting to fight Trina's battle. So Bobby decided to put on the robe and attempt to read Kaya. All right. It's about seven minutes long. And I want you guys to let me know, do you think that this is a true dragon or a lame struggle read from Mr. Bobby Boucher? Go ahead and listen to this. Today on the docket, we have Kaya, AKA Miss Florida Gator Swamp Monster. We the people summon you to a reality check and fact sheet. Kaya, in fact, is not a Florida native, and unless you are one of her miserable diehard fans, you wouldn't know that she was, in fact, born in Philly. Unfortunately, she had an experience, a rough upbringing, as her mammy was an infamous prostitute. It got so rough for Thug Mrs. at times, she would experience a lot of her mammy's dates. While she was in the front seat, her mammy would be in the back seat performing sexual acts, and poor Kaya was subject to all of it. Speaking of poor, during her time in Philly, her and her mammy were homeless. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but eventually an olive branch was extended by a lovely woman by the name of Mrs. Donna and her family back in Tampa. Mm -hmm. Kaya and her mammy moved to Tampa with Mrs. Donna and her family. Sadly, a short period after they moved to Tampa, Kaya's mother passes from an unknown disease. No wonder the swamp monster has no respect for those that have passed on. Aside from Mrs. Donna taking them in and making sure they weren't homeless anymore, she then also plans and pays for her mammy's funeral arrangements. Now here we have a young thug misses no mammy or no guidance, so of course she follows in her mammy's footsteps and according to close sources, began having sex at the age of 12 with many, many men. According to Mrs. Donna, who also claims that Kaya turned on her and her family, even though they were the reason she had a home and the funeral was paid for. This may be able to explain how far back Kaya's evil and subjective spirit has been established. Now, although Kaya wasn't a victim of sex trafficking, she sure was considered a young prostitute hoe. Tuh. I spoke with another reliable source that was able to confirm that, in fact, at a young age, Miss Kaya had multiple niggas running trains on her in the Jackson Heights area, which would then prepare her for her new lifestyle and title as whore. Now, apparently, her slutty lifestyle is what led her to open up a car wash on Lake Avenue called Hoshine. Yes, she was the one behind the car wash called Hoshine. Like majority of everything this woman does, this car wash soon becomes a flop and got shut the fuck down. Now, as she began her struggling music career, all of her whorish manners would soon translate to all of her low quality and ratchet cover arts, as some of you may know. Years later, this is where the story takes a turn and gets quite interesting because Kaya claims her child is from a man named Billy Finch, <laughs> when in actuality it's from his brother, Papa Love. Mm -hmm. To ensure her daughter will follow in her whorish ways, she named her daughter right after her. Now, what's absolutely horrifying about this entire thing <laughs> is that Papa Love was a well-known rapist and child molester. He was very well known for raping his nieces and young girls. Kaya allowed for her daughter to be around this man and allegedly should be in prison for exposing her daughter to this man for if it wasn't for her crackhead looking ass and all her negligence. Her daughter would have never had to endure what she went through. Kaya's daughter ends up getting raped at age 12 by Papa Love and becomes pregnant. Bless her soul. Now, at the time when all this happened, there was a big manhunt in the city of Tampa looking for Papa Love. Fast forward today, he is currently serving time in prison. Thank God. We the people want to know what type of woman allows for all of this to go down. Huh. Sources also confirm that Kaya sheep in the face looking ass was too busy tricking and treating and making no money, basically fucking around town. And that's the reason why she wasn't able to fully tend to her children. Hmm. 
Now, after all this has come to light, there was no wonder, Miss Kaya, why all these women kept their foot in your ass for you fucking on their man. The thug missus got her ass dragged so many times, oftentimes she needed club security to escort her to her big ass Scooby-Doo van, leaving certain nightclubs such as St. Louis, Manila, the New Lounge, and Uptown 21. Now, I'm from Miami, so I've never really heard of these clubs, so if you're from Tampa, maybe me, you would know. Miss Kaya, I think it's about time that you hang it all up and do some soul searching. Perhaps a new makeover and remove them gauntlets in your mouth. And if you can't afford to remove them dusty ass pillow sheets from around them dreads and get them retwisted, there are many alternatives like you can shave your head bald or try a wig even though that can get costly for your broke ass. Now I'm quite sure this video won't be enough to shut your beaver overbite mouth having ass up. You remind me of that one person we all knew in high school who could get their ass beat and molly walked and stand right back up and say, so what, bitch? You, Miss Kaya, have been found guilty of being equivalent to a nuisance, a gnat, and a mess we all can't get rid of. But you have managed to live your life this way. No morals or regards to human emotions. Instead of me suing you like I should have for defamation of character by telling lies about my health, I will leave your Shrek in the face ass with these words instead. Kaya, all the voodoo in the world and reads in the books won't be able to stop God from giving you what you deserve each and every time. Hopefully, you are watching this video and not too upset because we all know what goes around comes back around and sometimes it comes back 10 times harder with your dusty ass. Furthermore, we the people sent to your pig that not so have an ass to life in hell with not one cup of water. Any video or message your delusional ass making fun of them termite infested wood panels will be politely disregarded and ignored. But today, I have laid you to rest using your own life story and facts. I had no need to tell a lie and fabricate anything that I have said today, unlike you, who thrives off of personal opinions and lies. And by the way, I'm giving your dusty, musty, sweaty, pussy, tart, having ass 24 hours to fully copyright the gag order. If not, I will kindly take your shit and show your slim thug, Wesley Snipes looking ass how to really capitalize and make some real money. Now let's talk about the order.